What am I doing? I'm sort of preparing my tent to go to bed so in the morning we put our sleeping bags out on the washing line. It's a bit bizarre I know but we do. And any of the frosted snow, uh, frost that you accumulate during the night whilst you're breathing uh, dissipates during the day, dries off and you can just shake everything off. So now I'm going to set the tent up for tonight. <laughs> What I've done is brought both bags in, the outer bag and uh, the inner bag, and I'm now assembling the vapour barrier inside my fleece liner. This gets quite warm, you get quite warm in this, you don't need to wear a lot, I just wear my thermals and a very thin jacket with a hood on, um, and uh, it prevents sort of uh, icing up of your bag which is very important and is an extra layer and keeps you warm so your body warm is within the vapour barrier. Well, some nights it's been down to minus 45, 47, but I think it was warmer last night. We all felt quite warm, so it was probably about minus 37, 35, 37. So I was toasty warm and uh, really comfortable. didn't really want to get out of my bag. In there. Right, um, inside the tent... What I'm going to do now is uh, try and be efficient in taking off my outer layers to get into the bag with the least amount of time passing. What I first do is tuck my outer gloves under my sleeping bag so they'll be nice and warm in the morning. Dispose of out hat. Now, unzip the jacket. Oh, hat first. Always wear a hat in bed. First priority, keep your head warm. Then, what I try to do is get my lower half into the bag first. So that means Taking off the tree, always change your socks so they're nice and dry in bed. <laughs> off come the day socks, and the bed socks, which would be the right way around if I sorted myself out. There we go. And they also go under the mattress. So hopefully they'll be nice and warm in the morning. Right, right the next step is get into the vapour barrier as elegantly as possible. I usually have a hot water bottle, an algae bottle at this stage, but for some reason I don't tonight. There we go. So I hope the Data barrier bag up, wriggle down, off comes the jacket, which luckily doubles as my pillow. I hold it up, tuck it under the hood. Then, this is where it will look slightly strange, but it shouldn't be plaster strange. We found the best way of the outer bag to stop your nose and face going cold. We've reversed it, so we sleep with the outer bag hood over our faces. So basically it's back to front. So slide down the mattress into the bag. And then it's a question of doing zips. So I zip up my sleeping bag first. There we go. Then bring up the outer bag. Find the zip, which is down here.
And then because I don't like squelching my hood up and feeling claustrophobic, I then go to sleep under the hood. Good night. <laughs>